Welcome back to another great episode of Rahan's Cuisines. Today we are making chicken chusa. Now this chicken is marinated with um, a lot of spices and then we also have like, um, we're gonna also be putting in a charcoal and smoking that while it's raw. So um, if you wanna learn how to do this, let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna marinate this and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take this out and put it on the grill. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our sauce together, all right? So the reason why I'm doing it in a different bowl is so that we can taste the sauce and make sure that it's spot on before we add the chicken in it. So we're gonna start off and I'm gonna be calling out all the ingredients and the measurements, but then also remember that the ingredients and the full method of how to do it is written in the description box below. So that's gonna start with, um, let me just quickly grab my, uh, little spatula here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our ginger and garlic in here first so I've got two tablespoons of fresh ginger and garlic all right we're gonna put that next we're gonna add in the one fourth cup of vinegar now I'm using plain white vinegar you can use whatever vinegar you have at home all right the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add two tablespoons of ginger powder in here. Now this is the dried ginger powder. And I've worked with this recipe, like I said, so many times and I've just come up with this, which is the best taste. Two tablespoons of my green chutney. If you look on your right-hand side of the screen, on the right-hand side, you will see a um, um, thing pop up. Click on that, it'll take you to my green chutney. You can watch that. All right, next we're gonna add in a, a tablespoon of garam masala. Then comes in a tablespoon of cumin powder, a tablespoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, I'm adding a teaspoon of turmeric in here because I don't wanna add food coloring in here. So that's why I'm adding more. If you're adding the yellow food coloring, which is usually in the chicken chusa that they make authentically, they have red food coloring and they have yellow food coloring in there. So to bypass that, I'm adding a more turmeric in there, okay? Next, we're going to do the one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. Um, you can use any that you can get a hold of. Then I have here two tablespoons of mango powder, which is the amchur powder. If you can't find mango powder, don't worry about it. You could do so many things. You could do lemon zest, lime zest, lemon juice, lime juice, whatever you like. I have here two tablespoons of lemon pepper. Again, if you don't find lemon pepper, use lemon juice, use lemon zest. I have two tablespoons of paprika, and the reason why I'm using two tablespoons is to bypass, again, using the red food coloring in there. Let's go ahead and give this a mix. And it's, it's phenomenal in here. <coughs> All right, next, in, next goes one fourth cup of oil. Now you wanna use any type of oil. I'm, you, you can use avocado oil, um, um, any type of cooking oil. This, I am using avocado oil in here, but there's so many other oils that you can use. You can decide what you wanna use. All right, we're gonna mix this really well. Now I'm gonna add my salt in here. And we'll start off by adding a teaspoon and I'm gonna give this a taste test. The flavors are spot on because I made this like four times before I did this video. Next goes in a teaspoon of baking powder. And this is what's gonna make this chicken so different from all other chickens out there. Again, give this a good mix so our marinade is ready. Okay. What we'll do now is we're gonna take our chicken and I have here about four pounds of chicken. So this is two whole chickens. And if you see here, what I've done is I have actually made slits in it so that the marinade goes inside really, really well. And I, um, I also am making sure that none of the water from the marinade goes in there because I want the marinade to be not um, 
super runny because I want it to stick on and get into the chicken completely. All right. So once and so it's it's about I would say a good four pounds of chicken. And the nice thing about this chicken is that it freezes really, really well. So um, the last couple of times that I've made this, not couple, but four times that I've made this, I've always like taken bits of it, which I've, I tried to freeze it once, but every time it gets done because we eat it the next day, we use it in sandwiches. And honestly, it's really, really a very tasty, tasty chicken. All right. So at this point, I'm quickly going to put on my glove and I want to marinate this chicken and I want to get into all those nicks and crannies that we made, okay? All right, let's get in there. And I think uh, just doing it with hand just really, really helps. Now you can see that the chicken is not red. And I think if all of you, any of you that have tried chicken chusa in Nairobi, then you know that the chicken is like a yellowish reddish. It's very reddish and they add food coloring in there. But I honestly didn't feel like I needed to use food coloring in there. The taste is so amazing. And so I just kind of wanted to put in the paprika and um, the turmeric in there um, to give it all that taste all right now to give the authentic taste to this chicken you see how i've made slits even in the legs and i just want to make sure that it gets everywhere inside and the baking powder is going to do its job as well it's going to really really nicely uh, soften this chicken as well all right so we're, we're good with that now what i'm going to do is i have a uh, coal that is on my stove so what i'm going to do is I have here a piece of foil. I'm gonna grab my coal and um, I'll put the link. I'll put the link of the coal in the description box below. Um, you can get that from Amazon. It's made from coconut shells. So if you don't find this uh, brand itself, there's so many other brands that they have, which is actually made from coconut, the coconut um, shell. So I'm just going to break this just a little bit, just like that. We're gonna place it. I'm gonna make a little bit of a hole right there. I'm gonna place it right in there, just like that. Now I'm going to take some oil and I'm just going to take about two teaspoons of it. Put it right like that. And I'm going to take some oil and I'm going to cover it completely so that I can trap the smoke inside. Okay, I'm going to do one more because I can see it coming out from the side and I just want to trap all of it in there. So now we're gonna let this marinate for a good half an hour, 45 minutes, or even longer. And then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna put this on the grill. So it's been about half an hour and this is what our chicken looks like. So I'm gonna get that coal out because we don't need that. I'm just gonna throw that out. Um, and then if you see here that it's marinated really, really well, my son is going to start putting this onto our um, grill right there. So you want to make sure that your grill is really nice and hot. And if you hear that sizzle, that's the way to do it. We're just going to get all of them on there. So for all of you that have been wondering what Aladdin is up to, so in the summer, we got him this little stroller that's actually uh, pet gear, it's for pets, and he loves it. So we're actually out here doing barbecues, and whenever we're doing barbecues, he's in here. So I just everybody has been asking about Aladdin, so I thought, let me just go ahead and show you guys that he's just enjoying the time of his life. Look at him. And then we also take him for walks. So, so did you get a close-up on him? Yeah? 
So while that's cooking up, I just wanted to mention what is chicken chuza? Chicken chuza is originated in Nairobi, which is in East Africa. Um, it is made in um, sagri, which is like they have these little things, little, little, they make them actually by hand and then they put coal inside and my God, brings back so many memories. Um, of, there was our everyday cooking, that's what we used. And so it gives this a really, really nice barbecue uh, taste. Now, I myself have never tried chicken chuza myself, but um, from all the recipes that I got, I tried so many, but um, this one was it. This one we had, everybody in the house said, this is the recipe you should use. And this is why um, I'm using this recipe. So I hope you all enjoy this recipe. Please do leave me a comment um, underneath if you've ever tried this recipe or if you've had the authentic. And if you compare it, how you think, I would love to know. Okay, so this has been on the grill for what, Riz Hassan, how, how long? Uh, about 10 minutes. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some of the marinade and then we're just gonna brush that right on top because the marinade has so much taste to it. It's just, we don't wanna lose any of that marinade. So we just wanna make sure that um, the couple times that I made it, I felt like I had put so much spices in there, but it still was lacking that taste. And then the second time we did it, we did it this method and I find out found out that yeah, we got so much more flavor back into the chicken. So we're gonna quickly do that. And I can do that while you start flipping that, Hassan. So you wanna start flipping the ones. And you know a good barbecue when you see those grill marks. Look at those beautiful grill marks on them. we're also going to be turning it just around just one more time so the marinade cooks really well because we you know that this has been in raw chicken so I am going to turn it one more time just to make sure that the marinade is completely cooked through We're just going to go ahead and reflip that one more time so we can get that marinade completely cooked too. But some of our pieces are just like coming off, like they're just breaking. So at this time, I just wanna do a quick taste test to make sure it's completely cooked through and it's completely white, it's completely cooked through. This is absolutely delicious. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we get all these cooked through. Once they're all barbecued, I'll come back and I'll show you what the end product looks like. So our chicken chuza is completely cooked. It's absolutely delicious. So let me show you how I am going to be serving this. Um, so I have my own plate here. So today we're just going to have that with the corn that we made on, um, check out the, um, the video I uploaded on Wednesday, but I will put up a link so you can follow that video. The chicken piece, and then I have some fresh pineapple with salad with my oriental salad. So make sure you check out the oriental salad as well. It's a great summer recipe. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for t spending time with me in the kitchen today. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.